Welcome back to Callahan's Corner, where you ask the questions, we answer them live right here on Facebook. So, had a little technical difficulties for the first cut there um, when we tried this video, but question was great. Person wanted to know, how do we go out and beat the low ballers in our industry so the people not charging enough, they don't know their numbers, and this is only going to get worse, and how do we do that? Well, my answer to that is you need to go out and answer the tough questions that no one is willing to answer. So we all deal with low ballers. We're sick and tired of people not playing by the rules. They're not carrying the insurance and they just don't know their numbers and they're giving work away. Well, the one way that we built, we beat that in my business and we help other businesses do that as well is going out through a process or processes of answering the tough questions that no contractor wants to answer. But by doing so, I'm going to show you how to be the expert in your market, in your industry, and charge a premium price. And while doing so, you're going to shorten that sales cycle and shorten it up. So hopefully, if that sounds interesting, if you're watching live or recorded, does the possibility of out, outplaying and beating those low ballers and not selling on price sound like a great option to you? Well, it does to me. So here's how you do it. First thing I want to do is recommend a book, if you haven't read it, is They Ask, You Answer by Marcus Sheridan. So I've had the pleasure of speaking before Marcus um, at at least two different events in front of two, 250, 300 people. Uh, Marcus owns or owned a business called River Pools and Spas in Virginia. Or actually, I believe it was West Virginia. Um, Marcus started on a platform called HubSpot. At the same time, I started on a platform called Keep by Infusionsoft, or now Keep. And then we transferred that process over to the software that we currently use, which is Service Autopilot. But platform service or CRM customer relationship management software doesn't matter. The process, even if you're using pen and paper, is going to be applicable. So what we are looking at here is the ability to be upfront and honest, just like Marcus talks about and they ask you answer. This is so something I did in my lawn care company. My buddy Garrett Matthews did that in his um, lawn care company. Uh, Matthews tree and passed out in Shreveport, Louisiana, amongst a bunch of other people in masterminds groups that I'm associated with. But the idea here is that we should have a several pronged approach. So just like Callahan's Corner, I'm going to go out and answer the questions that most contractors or consultants or software people aren't going to answer. So in the lawn care company, I would address the main black eyes or perceptions of a contractor about contractors not calling you back. If you damage something, do you carry insurance? What's going to happen? If there's rain delay, what's going to happen? And the list goes on and on and on. And these are the questions you're getting asked in your office every day. So literally you're like, Mike, I have no idea what I'm going to make a video about. Well, it actually is not that hard. Like literally get a pen and paper, stick it in front of your office phone and have your admin or if you're answering the phone, write down all the commonly asked questions. And what you're going to do is either go live or recorded or if you're uncomfortable with the camera, do a written text or a podcast or something, but some medium that can be repurposed. So what we're going to do, just like we're going to do at the end of Callahan's Corner here, is my team's going to take this video, download it from Facebook. Uh, we're doing it live, and it's it's you know it, it, it happens. There's errors, but it's relatable, and you're a real person, and people feel that, and they understand that, just like you probably do with some of these videos. But my team's going to take the live video. They're going to repost it in the certain areas in Facebook or Instagram that our clients or future clients hang out, that demographic, that avatar. Once they download this, they're going to put it on YouTube. They're going to take that YouTube video with a transcript, send it to our webmaster. And if you go to Simple Growth Systems with an S.com in the upper right-hand corner, it's got our learning hub. And there's videos. So every video I make, it is in there and it's searchable with a transcript. So there's multiple reasons why we're doing this. And Marcus does an amazing job breaking down the science of it in his book, They Ask You Answer. But this is something we were doing um, in my business before Marcus wrote this book. Now, Marcus, definitely not comparing myself to him. He is an expert in SEO and some of the details he gets into here are still really relevant. So I suggest looking at that. But what we're doing is we're taking that video, we're putting it on the Simple Growth website, or we did it on the Lawn Care site. So it's the video with the transcript. So the SEO is going to search for that and come in. So you, you've created relevancy of that video. But how does this have anything to do with low ballers and pricing? So what you've done is created a content that gets you in front of your potential consumer when they're searching. Searching. So Gen Z is four to five times more likely to do more research 
than Generation X or any other generation before that. So this isn't just now, but the buying habits are reinforcing it. As the next generation comes, you need to be there and be the expert. And they will trust a social media expert. So if you can become a social media expert like we have done for like the last five or 600 videos with Simple Growth, just giving you content and telling you how we did it and where we went wrong and how we fixed it. Uh, some of the greatest research in Gen Z is they trust a social media icon more than a doctor. Like literally, this is through research. So if you want to get ahead of the shift that's about to happen in the next buying generation, you need to be on social. You need to be honest. You need to be genuine. And you need to answer these tough questions. What happens when you don't show, like when it's rain delay? What happens if it, something happens with the insurance? Um, are you going to close the fence gate behind you when you're done fertilizing or mowing the lawn to protect the kids and the dog from running out of the backyard? Let's face it. People do not trust themselves hiring a contractor. And they definitely do not trust themselves uh, to hire that contractor. So they don't trust the contractor and they don't trust themselves to hire the contractor. Well, there's a very simple solution. If you're willing to answer the hard questions on social media and then take that into written text and videos in your estimate process, you can compete and beat lowballers. Price will not be an option. And how you do this is send out a thing called a lead letter. Five or six main reasons why your business is different. And it's sent to everyone that requests an estimate. And it clearly differentiates you and your business from any competitor they may be researching. In addition, after that, we follow up a day apart for three communications through short-term education, through automated email, and potentially SMS or text or Facebook Messenger, as long as you play within the rules of Messenger and deliverability uh, based on the time you're watching this. And be aware of Messenger, there are rules of engagement. But what we're doing is we're sending them educational emails. It has nothing to do with the sales process. But if they're interested in, let's just say, lawn mowing, we're talking about how a professional mows the lawn. Proper mowing height, proper sharpening of the blades, proper balancing the blades, um, proper irrigation to go along with it. All the things that an expert would do. If you're in home cleaning, we're talking about the difference between a top to bottom deluxe or deep clean. How we're doing the whole entire house. We're hitting the baseboards. We're wiping down the, the shades with a microfiber. And then we're talking about a weekly or bi-weekly clean. What goes into that in the process and how it's different. But what we're doing is creating a higher perceived value. And the secret sauce is address the commonly asked questions or concerns or bad questions. Um, views of the con of the service or being a contractor in that industry up front in the short-term education. So you've created a higher perceived value. So you're selling on value, not price. So you can be the highest price person in your market. And you've shortened the sales cycle by addressing the concerns and the questions that no one else and no other contractor wants to answer. But if you are the one that answers them, guess who's going to win most of the sales and at the highest price because you're not selling on price, but you're selling on value and being the expert and you've created a trust factor. So if you want to go out and crush the low ballers in your, uh, in your market this year, answer the tough questions, do it on social media, do it on your website and do it through your estimate pre-education and lead letters and not enough after they become a client. We want to create a monthly newsletter. Your newsletter is like, well, they're outdated. I don't want to do that anymore. Like that's crazy. But what we want to do is create a newsletter that's educational and providing value. So if you're in the lawn care industry and it's, it's coming out of the winter season, so early winter we're doing ornamental pruning. So maybe we're sending an email a month before ornamental pruning happens. We're educating the proper cuts, the timing, and how to do it, and maybe a soft one liner at the bottom, by the way, if you need some help. But what you've done is created a value and framed yourself as the expert and then through reciprocity those future clients or clients are going to come back in and request an estimate for those services. So go out, crush the low ballers, forget about them, answer the questions that nobody wants to answer. Go get your, get your game on in wherever your avatar or your client is hanging out, whether it's Instagram, Facebook. But I suggest doing Facebook lives right now because the algorithm is um, – rewarding that right now. We take that. We're going to get that video over to YouTube with a transcript and get your YouTube with your transcript on your website for SEO. And then we double down with the same content. We repurpose it for our sales um, lead letter and our pre-nurture education. And then we repurpose some of that content into our monthly newsletter to educate what the consumer should be doing in their yard or home the month in advance with a soft upsell. Callahan's Corner, you ask the questions, we answer them live right here on Facebook. We'll be back again with another pre-submitted question.